Hey YouTube, so in this video, we're gonna find some partial derivatives uh, by using implicit differentiation. So formulas are pretty simple. So del z, del x, it always has a minus sign. And then the trick is, if there's an x here, you put an x here. So this is the partial with respect to x. And on the bottom here is the partial with respect to z. So that's the first formula. The other formula, del z, del y, it also has a minus sign, and then here you have the partial with respect to y, and then here you have the partial with respect to z. Now, what is big F? Well, big F is this entire creature right here. This is big F of x, y, z. Notice it's equal to zero, so that's a requirement before you use the formula. So you always have to set it equal to zero. For example, if this term was over here, you would have to put it back on this side before, to, before you use the formula. Um, let's go ahead and work this out. So. Uh, and maybe we can just do it all at once up here. Let's see. So we're taking the partial of this with respect to x. So all of the y's and z's are constants. So the derivative of x is 1. And the derivative of this is 0. So that's it. That was pretty easy. All right, now we're taking the partial with respect to z. So this derivative is 0. Um, here we have a z inside the sine function. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So we have cosine of y plus z times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is y plus z. So the derivative of y is 0, so we don't write that down, and the derivative of z is 1. So it's really times 1, but you don't really need the 1 there, so I'm going to erase it. So again, for this first one, the partial with respect to x, the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of this is 0, because there's no x's. And then for the partial with respect to z, the derivative of this is uh, 0, and then the derivative of sine is cosine, and then times the derivative of the inside is 0 plus 1. Boom, so that's the first partial. For the next one, let's go ahead and do it. The negative hangs out. Let's see, the partial with respect to y. Well, the derivative of x is going to be um, 0, right, with respect to y. And uh, here we have sine y plus z, right? So that's going to be a cosine y plus z times the derivative of the inside. But again, the derivative of the inside is 1 plus 0. The derivative of y is 1. The derivative of z is 0, so we don't bother to write it. And then on the bottom, we have the derivative with respect to z, which we already did before. We said that was cosine y plus z. We did that before. So this is cosine y plus z. Oh, look at that. So in this case, these cancel, and you get negative 1. What a cool answer. So I hope that video made sense. So this is um, how you use implicit differentiation uh, when you have multivariable functions. I hope that that's good.